Yeah, man. Hey, Tico. Nay, bro. What's your problem? Yeah, man, I got a story to tell you. I'm so excited, but I need to tell you a story first. Okay, man, just tell me the story so we can get it over and done with. We need to start this bloody show, you know. Okay, let me tell you this story. So, me and my hombre, you know, we're walking down the street and he said to me, Jose. I said to him, yeah, hombre. He said, look over there on the pavement. I look down there on the pavement and I look, I say, you know what, hombre? He said, no, Jose. I say, watch out. That is dog shit. So, my hombre, he said to me, no, Jose, it is not dog shit. It is pudding. It looks like chocolate pudding. I say, I say, I say, what kind of a pervert gets his jollies on? Well, dog shit. It is not pudding. It is dog shit. So then and there, we decide. There only is only one way to decide this. So my hombre, he stick his finger in what he think is pudding and he pull it out. He put his finger in his mouth and he tasted and he spit out and he say, Jose, you know what? I say, no, what? He say, you're right. This is dog shit. And we both laugh. But we even laugh more after when we say, we can be glad we didn't stand in it. <laughs> Nay, what kind of a joke is that? Is that something to get over excited about? Nah, man, you, you not liquor in your head, you know that. No, man, that is not why I'm excited. Yes, yes, partly yes, because I'm excited, because I didn't stand in it. <laughs> and other than that, the other reason why I'm excited, it is time for when the pen stops flying. Ah, nay, that is the real reason why we're here. So let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to when the pen it stops flying. Today I'm going to discuss a topic that dives into 3D printing. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all the scientific terms and what you have used and what, what, what. I'm going to more or less just give a guideline what to look out for. Um, you know, thing is basically growing the sport of paintball in the sense of 3D printed parts, if I can call it that. I've been doing 3D printing now for plus minus two and a half years now. And I'm going to be honest with you. There are very, very few guys that know what they're doing when it comes to 3D printing. A guy will claim he know, he claims he knows how to do 3D printing. The product will look beautiful on the outside. But like the Afrikaans word that says, boer blink on her stink. Lo and behold, you use that product for the first time in a game, or even with my like with myself before a game, fiddling around with it, it breaks. That's disappointing. That's very, very disappointing. Very disheartening. Especially when it comes to, say, before, night before a game where you got a part and it breaks. And you've 3D printed it and that breaks as well. It's very, very disheartening. So if 3D printing is not that strong, why am I bringing it up as an option for paintball parts? You see, ladies and gentle germs, 3D, paint, paint, 3D printed paintball parts is a reality, yes, on the outside and on the inside. It all depends on the guy that's doing the 3D printing. How much info is he placing into the material to strengthen it? On your screen, you will see now an example of what I'm talking about. So that's basically the nitty gritty of it. How strong and what type of filament or parent material are they um, using when it comes to the 3D printing? And that's also going to determine how strong your part is, how durable your part and is. Another aspect as well is not just durability, but functionality. By functionality, I'm talking about something that moves, something that works, like a gear, something in that aspect. And I'm going to show a few examples now of 3D printed parts that I have. One that was done from an unknown, unnamed source, will not name the person. 
And the other was done by Jason Nascimento from Wicked Paintball, all the way down there in the Mother City in Cape Town. Just like to thank you, Jason, for sending down these parts for us to review. And later he will be sending us down parts that we can actually use in the field. Uh, stuff like magazines and, you know, that kind of stuff that people can use. And we're going to put it to the test and to see this whole thing about 3D printed parts. Is it really worth it? Is it as strong as people claim they are? And obviously overall finish. That's important. And I'm going to be honest with you. The examples that I'm going to show you now. Uh, the majority of them were all done by Jason, but the finish is beautiful. It's, it, it's strong, number one. It's functional, number two. And the end finish, the end product, it looks presentable. I mean, many a times you'll print something and the, you give it to the customer and the customer thinks, oh, 3D printed parts, uh, hasn't evolved, accept it as it is like that. No, it's not. It's all about preparation and in product prep and that's what I can honestly say about the parts that were that I'm going to show you tonight over here um, the end product is just different different to what I'm used to and here we go right here's the industry standard that I'm used to um, you hear that look at the finish it's rough it's um, yeah, it is what it is. It'll do the job. How strong it is, I'm not entirely sure because I did not ask the person printing it how much info he put and what he used. But this is an abandoned project. But yeah, there you can. Okay, this is this I did myself. But this is the printed parts. There you can see. Um, Right, and here are the parts that were sent from Jason. You can you can see the layering is a whole lot less than the previous picture that I showed you. And this is solid, it's strong. Look at that, it's um Yes, it just sorry about that, it does just not want to zoom. There you go, there's a um, a trademark on there as well. It's it's different. It's different to what I'm used to. This is strong. Uh, obviously, that's not the ultimate test, but yeah, uh, it's strong. I mean, look at this. Look at this finishing. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. Not only strong. This one is a demo. This is not such a strong material. This is just a demo to show around, but still, compared to the previous video, it's it's a whole lot better. And like I said earlier, it goes about functionality, and this is fully functional. Yeah. Right. Okay. There we go. It's functional. It's very functional. It's functional. So yeah, like I said, it's functional. It works. Um, here's the magazine. I mean, you can pump the magazine in there. I'm doing this with one hand, but yes, it goes in. It goes in all the way. All uh, right, let's get it. Wrong way. And there we go. There we go. And you see it? Yes, it clips in, and there it releases. Functionality, that's what I'm talking about. Um, mag release button, MG100. This this is solid, it's strong. Um, a front shroud. Look at that. A lot of times when it comes to 3D printing, you will have a look, especially on front parts like this. There we go, zooming. The layering, you can, you can slightly not even see it. Um, Mag followers, functionality, strength. It works. These are these are brittle parts. They stay, they, it is strong. I'm pushing this. It is strong. It's functional. This is how you know. This, yes, there's a whole lot of other goodies. This is how you know that a product 
is worth the paper it's written on. Durability, strength. When a person has pride in their work, not just slab, dab, there you go, I'm finished with you, I found my money, I got my money, now I can go. No disrespect to the guy who did this, but there's a big difference. Right, folks, just to give an indication of the 3D printing, busy with these uh, custom 98 grip guards, if you want to call them that, grips. Um, the rough stages right now, this is part of a project, another project, but this is actually just to show off the 3D printing and what is capable. The strength and the quality is just brilliant so there you go there i've given you two examples of 3d printed parts uh two different brands um, two different printing people if i can call it that um maybe you don't have a jason nearby or know a jason or know a fricky but you know a pussy Go up to Quirsi and say to Quirsi, listen Quirsi, I'm looking for 3D printed parts and 3D printed parts he will find at Thingiverse. You guys that are doing the 3D printed parts, you will know this. You guys doing the 3D printed parts know that when you promise a customer 100% infill, you give him 100% infill and not 50 or 30% and charge him for 100%. Because the reason why I'm mentioning it is because this is a common scam when it comes to the guys doing the 3D printed parts. A lot of times they will do a once-off video. The part is so strong and they hit it with a hammer and it breaks in 20 million pieces and nobody can see it. But the rest of the products that they're selling are not the same strength. I can promise you that. Ask him. Ask the guy doing your printing, are you willing to put a guarantee on your work? I'm not talking about movable parts, springs, pins, stuff like that. Life happens, paintball happens, things break. We understand that. I'm talking about strength-wise. You sell me X part, X part must last because it is strong. It must last as long as the original would last, if I can call it that. There's a good trade-off for you. It must last. Are you willing to give that kind of guarantee on your work? 3D printed parts is a reality. It, the field is, what we know is so small compared to what's out there. You can print in wood, like 3D printing um, hearts, not heart parts and lung parts and, you know, for show and uh, the stuff is like lifelike, beautiful. But functionality, paintball, 3D printed parts. Guys, let's support the guys doing the 3D printing uh, parts and yeah support local let's keep supporting local guys your local paintball shop fricky starting a new paintball shop let's support fricky you know uh, let's not try and cut fricky's kill off um let's grow the sport i mean we love the sport this is our sport let's do this and i just want to give a final shout out again to jason nascimento all the way there in the mother city cape town there in the cape town region cape town there you are I want to thank you for the printed parts that you sent. The next video that I will do is actually an actual review, in-field review of the parts in action. Once again, thank you very much. And thank you for tuning into this video. I want to ask you guys to subscribe. Hit that, hit that subscribe button. Share on Facebook when the paint stops flying. Hit us up over there. Hit us a like. Share. Share with all your friends. Tag. Go crazy. Share it, let's grow the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And till I see you again on When the Paint Stops Flying.